In this video, I ran a little experiment to see if a YouTube live stream chat could develop a Rubik's Cube method using only polls and community consensus. Thanks to Frog on Discord for this awesome idea. Now let's go see what the results are. Wow, there's 40 people here. Welcome everyone. So what are we doing today? You may be wondering. We are going to be seeing if YouTube chat can develop a method by only using like polls or Google Forms to try and get a community vote of which steps to use. How many of you in the chat have ever developed a method? Okay, a lot of people who are, who are subscribed to me know that I do method development stuff. This is our um, document for our method that we're gonna make right now. First, we're gonna establish the goals of the method. Is it supposed to be speed solving related? Or is this supposed to be fast as possible? What, what, what do you guys want as a chat? That's why we're gonna leave it to a vote and ask you all to vote. So this is the first first vote of, of the stream. Okay, so I'm gonna end the poll. It's been over a minute. We have 46 votes. That is, that is a wonderful amount of your participation. So we have 46 votes for just for fun. So it looks like we are making a fun method. Oh no, I wanted a screenshot of that. We have a few different ideas here that I'm that I'm reading in the messages. We have solve the first side, solve all the crosses, which is like solve all the edges. Wide D F R. So that's that's this pair and wide D B L. So two opposite pairs. Okay, that's kind of cool. What should the first step be? All right, let's see what the first step of our cool method will be. Okay, two diagonally opposite block slash pairs is, is, is kind of winning here. So, by a landslide margin, we have two diagonally opposite block slash pairs. Okay, so we're, in, so we're in this sort of cube state here. We have just two F2L pairs. But then where could we go next from here? We, can, we could orient edges with like wide R and stuff. We are now voting on the second step of this method after solving the two diagonally opposite pairs. So. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Finish cross EO, CP EO, cross plus EO, EO using M slices EO. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of EO. Should it be edge orientation plus the belt? Or should it be um, edge orientation plus MD edges? Oh, oh, it's almost 50-50 now. Why is it so close? Oh, EO plus MD has, has taken over. Oh, it's back to 50-50. Come on, why is the pull 49? It's 50-50. It's 50-50. It's 50, 50. Somebody decide it. Coin, coin toss, tails for belt, um, and then heads is gonna be MD edge. I don't actually don't know how to flip coins, but we're gonna flip this coin. It is tails, so we're going with EO belt, even though now it has 49% of the vote. So step two, it's gonna be EO plus belt. So we're going to use wide moves and slice moves, solve the belt while pointing all the edges on the cube, which leaves us in this state. The ergonomics of this step seem seem a bit strange, but this is just, just a for fun method, so it's probably okay. New link. So everyone, everyone go vote right now on what should the third step of this method be. Solve corners, permute all corners, orient all corners. So it's clear we need to do something with the corners. I'm not really sure about this step, so let's see what you guys think. If you don't know what any of them mean, pick the coolest name. <laughs> oh no, I hope I, I hope I wrote them concise enough. There are nine votes, close enough, close enough. We're gonna end the poll. So step three is orient all corners. Okay, so ju just to triple recap where we are right now, just like this. So I've done this, this pair and that pair, diagonally opposite on white there. And then we're going to orient the edges and solve the belt. Okay, and then orient, and then the new step is to orient all the corners. So now we are in this state. Okay, the link is now pinned. Now you can vote for step four of the YouTube chat method that, here, click this, click this, click this link in your in the live chat. Solve the rest using setup moves to end perm. That sounds extremely terrible and, and, and painful, but maybe for fun, I don't know. New D layer edges except one. Solve the U corners, corner permutation, separate plus D corners, or D layer edges. Vote now, everyone. Everyone vote now. Everyone everyone vote on this poll. We've got a couple of votes. What should we do? Should we separate and solve the D corners? Should we solve all the corners? Looks like separate plus D corners is winning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end that poll. We know what the last step is gonna be, right? The last step on here has to be solve the rest of the edges. There we go. That is 
That is officially step five and we're done. That's it. We're done. After the stream ended, I went through and I polished the document some more to make it look super nice, so that will be linked in the description if you're interested in reading that. Um, but let's just go through an example solve with the method. By the way guys, this is the uh, GAN11M Pro, which you can buy from cubicle.com and use the discount code ROWAN to save 5% off. So the first step as voted on by the chat is the diagonally opposite F2L pairs. So we have this pair, which can be made in like two moves like that. And ooh, that's a whole square, that's cool. But we don't really care about this um, piece with it. We just need to solve this other F2L pair, which is gonna be red green. And because we don't care about the cross or anything, you can use any sort of strange tricks you like to solve it. And wow, I made another block, cool. But yeah, so that's the first step. So you can either hold it like this or like this, but just two diagonally opposite F2L pairs and you don't need to have any cross solved or anything, but you do need to have them solved relative to their centers. And the next step is to orient all the edges while also solving the belt of the puzzle. So this edge can just straight up be inserted here, but we can also flip that one, I think, like that. And then we need this to get out of here, so we'll just insert this yellow edge oriented into the bottom. And then on this side, we have these two need to flip, and this needs to go in. There's like, sometimes there's you can use tricks, like, like um, that and that sometimes orient stuff, but this step is pretty much just intuitive. Like if you know Rue, then like obviously I recognize this case from, from Rue here. I just go like that. But yeah, so that's edge orientation plus the belt. And step three is to orient all six corners that are remaining after solving these two corners. So this one's already oriented, which is wonderful. And the way I like to do this is by inserting the two oriented corners here and then just doing OCLL. So basically I want to insert a solved corner here. So I'm gonna use a super soon. And that's gonna orient that corner down there. And now I just have the uh, T case for OCLL. And now all six of my corners are oriented. And step four, we're going to be separating that white yellow while also solving the D layer corners. Basically what you can do is build an edge and corner pair oriented like this. And then realize that when you bring this down, you want this to sort of be on the left of the block. So you want to build the block on the right like that. So that's good. And then you can just use like domino moves and then just start to build that block here. So now that's that, that block done while separating, right? And now I need to do this on the other side too. And when I bring this up, it's also going to be on the left. So that means that we want the edge to be here actually. So we can just swap this edge, just use an H perm. Um, and now we want this to be on the left, so we can just use domino cube strategies like this, and then finally bring that down. And now our white yellow is completely separated and we've solved the D layer corners at the same time. And this leaves us into step five, which is double PLL sort of. On the bottom you have edges that need to be permuted and on the top you have PLL, but here you can get parity sort of because it looks like impossible cases, but really if you get that, just do M2, U2, M2 instead of learning like hundreds of new algs. And you could do this all in one algorithm if you decided to learn the algs, but you know, just monkey brain see a uh, normal case. So just do that. And uh, there you go, that is the method. Specifically the YTC method or YouTube chat method. Uh, so that was the YouTube chat method. It's just for fun, not intended to be good for speed solving or FMC or anything. Just a fun method to see if a community can come together to make a method using only like voting and democracy. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.